Hello there, everybody. This is No Name One One Seven Spore, and today I am back with some good old Rule of Waves Two, as Italy. We are currently embroiled in our war with Britain. Unfortunately, we do not have good tonnage on foreign stations because we're kind of just letting Eritrea be invaded, because there's very little we can do there. We want to try to grab like Cyprus and then Egypt, or just go straight for Egypt. I don't know, but we need to really knock the British out right now. Uh, we do currently do not have a proposal for a new aircraft, which we really should probably get. We did get a new torpedo bomber. Its reliability is average. Our fighter's reliability is average. Um, our torpedo bomber is a B variant, so I probably actually do want to keep it around. Um, part of me wants to start using some of these medium bombers, since they can carry torpedoes. Nobody doesn't. We have a fighter... Flying boat's the oldest. We're not really using those. Should probably convert some squadrons over to, uh, from torpedo bombers to medium bombers in some locations. Yeah. I might get a new fighter proposal going. Fighter, maybe firepower, and then range. We need reconnaissance aircraft. Well, we have floatplane scouts. And for reconnaissance aircraft, I'm mostly using uh, blimps right now, or airships, I should say, not blimps, uh, zeppelins would be the proper term. Right now we need to knock out Britain, and I wanted, well, okay, so as much as I am going to do some air group uh, reconfiguration here, and that's converting some squadrons to have medium bombers as well, and I'm most of the air groups I don't even have fighters in. Uh, part of me is wanting to leave it that way, part of me is not. So here's what I'm going to do, is Syracuse, uh, I'm going to reduce the number of torpedo bombers here to 12. And then add in a air unit of medium bombers at 8. At Syracuse. Um, I'll, uh, Cagliari only has 15 torpedo bombers at the moment. I think Rhodes and Lindos are going to be one of the targeted locations. So I'm gonna change the number at uh each of these to twelve. And then add in an air unit of medium bombers to each base. I don't want to add too many medium bombers right now since I actually want to get them used, but I do want to have a few. Uh right now our monthly balance is kinda well it, it just increased slightly because, you know, we just added, or we just technically got rid of aircraft. But, it'll go right back down again once we get more. Uh, one thing I wanted to investigate was carrier conversions. Because we can do CVL conversions. So I want to take a quick look at what a, um, what one of these things, for example, a Bari would look like. Maybe if we bulged it and uh, added a flight deck to it. Went up to a director. Story. Oh, thank you, Flying Fortress 15, for following. Yeah, welcome to the Nameless Follower Group. You weren't already? I don't know. We need to limit our destroyer losses, otherwise we will run out of destroyers. Yes, that is a big issue, is the destroyer losses this war have been very bad. Um, so, let's go down to 4-inch dual purpose, since we can get those. I want to just see what this would look like. FG, JK, single turrets, and then load up the rest with uh, anti-aircraft guns. So we could get eight aircraft... Nope, we can't do that. Um, so we could probably get maybe seven aircraft, or eight. Yeah, about eight. Watch out with France. Yeah, or, you know what, we clear the main turrets entirely. And then just turn it into a barge with some uh, light anti-aircraft on it. So yeah, we could technically get eight aircraft out of a Bari. Um, if we rebuild it, it would take ten months to rebuild. If we replace machinery, it's still ten months. It's a lot more expensive. But that would allow us to get up to 10. 
Not really worth it. Tensions are getting rather high with France. Yeah, I do not want to go to war with France either. Uh, the other one I wanted to investigate was the Nino Bixio. Uh, what would happen... No, not an open design. An open design for rebuild. What would happen if we rebuilt this old ship into a uh, local yard, central firing, into a CVL? Uh, so clear the main gun turrets. Change, yeah, local yard, check, change into a CVL. Um, if we bulged her, once again, we could probably get eight aircraft out of her for cheap. But, you know, she's an old ship. I don't really think she's all that needed right now. So I am actually really tempted to do this. FG, JK, single turrets. 4-inch dual-purpose mounts. No armor. And then some additional guns. Because she's slow. She's really slow. She doesn't have a lot of purpose right now. I think this is the smart move. To rebuild this ship into a uh, additional carrier. Just so that we can have a little bit of fighter escort for our battleships. Um, which is something I badly need. Getting 8 or an additional eight aircraft would somewhat help uh, with that goal. Given that Britain actually does have good carriers, and this would cost 185 per month. How much is her normal maintenance? 172. So this is like slightly over normal maintenance for this. Which I think is fine. We're going to yeah keep her on central firing. Screw it. Every anti-aircraft fire... Factor is five. I mean, I, I probably would not be using this ship far past the war, or I convert it into a seaplane carrier. Um, you know what? So actually, no, not structure one. Okay, get rid of all the structure here. We need to actually uh, properly convert this ship over. So asymmetric funnels. Um, I don't want to do the funnels on her. I might just move the funnel over to uh, this side here. Or, you know, have like an oval funnel like here, another another oval funnel here. Probably not going to have much of a bridge on this ship, to be honest. All right, so structure three, we're just going to do a box. Front seaplane tenders, good raiders. We're not using raiders, though. Um, the goal here is to sink the British Navy and then take their Mediterranean colonies. Yeah, I don't know. If they might be good or decent raiders. Let's just do... You know what? This ship probably would just get somewhat something of a flat deck across the top like that. Uh, structure 4 will be the elevators. I'm not going to spend too much effort on this. Like I did with the uh, other CVLs. Honestly, she probably only needs, like, the one elevator. <laughs> you know, she can carry eight aircraft. Why does she... Need, why would she need two? Um, so, structure two. She does. She is going to need some anti-aircraft guns. So, then we can do something like this. Go out, out here for that mount. And out here for this mount. I'm not even going to use, like, all the structures on this. Because I don't care enough on this one. So asymmetric superstructure on 5. We will give her a little bit of a bridge, right? Okay, I have to remember to actually build the whole bridge. We'll give her a little bit of a bridge here. And that will be that. Well, you know what? I will use structure 6. I guess it's structure 1 I'm not using. Structure 6 is going to just be something kind of in between the funnels here. There we go. I think that is a good save. Yep.
rebuild her. So she will take 10 months to rebuild into that uh, light carrier. Maybe we can convert her back into a CL at some point, I don't know. Or, you know, just scrap her. Brindisi's getting close to done. Uh, so the strategy I want to use is... I want to look at something like the Marco Polo. And let's get rid of the armor. All armor gone. Oil firing. No armor on her. Uh, torpedo defense up. To two. Give me 25 knots. And then give me an AMC. Remove all the aircraft capacity from her. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There we go. I thought it would remove it. Um, so fire control, local only. Uh, go to dual purpose guns. Cannot be allowed as main armament. Okay. I don't know. So the goal here is that we build a fast... Uh, 16,000 ton AMC. Like this. And it would cost a lot. Don't get me wrong. This would cost a lot to build. But we do it... Honestly, bring these up. Can we do dual mounts? Only singles are allowed for ships of this type. Uh, put one on H9 then. So we do something like this. And then... Now I'm going to see what the mass is. If we go dual purpose guns. Fit it with a flight deck. And then just add aircraft to it. How many can we get on? We can get up to 28 aircraft. So... This is a way to get a carrier easily. Would you be able to get an early carrier easily? Part of me just wants to reduce the speed. Yeah, that does certainly save some money, though, if we only let her go 22 knots. I think, as much as this is going to bankrupt me, I think I need to do it. But I think, you know what, I will wait until Brindisi comes out to do it. I think we need to get Brindisi out of the docks and put these guys on a normal construction pace to, to do that. So here's hoping that we can actually defeat the British in a battle. Nope, decline that, decline that, accept that. Okay, here we go. Proper battle time. We are off the coast. We have the heavy cruisers Regina, Elena, and Carlo Alberto. In support of them, we have the CVLs Marco Polo and Vares. Uh, up in front, uh, it looks like Syracuse is or Syracuse in Livorno are scouts. So this appears to be a CA engagement. So. Regina and Lena and Carlo Alberto were built in Britain in, I forget what year specifically, but I, it was early. I should wait, hold on. These were built 1913, 1914. Britain has two CAs. One is 1915, one is 1926. The 1915 one looks like this, um, and the 1926 one looks like this. Uh, we have a significant advantage over both of these CAs, presuming that either of them are present in this battle. Uh, Argonaut is actually a decent heavy cruiser, but a Carlo Alberto does outgun and out-armor it. And we have two of them. I will start by writing up the torpedo bombers from both squadrons, or both uh, carriers. I do want Messina to stop and launch float planes. Yes. Alright, we got recon going. Part of me kind of wants to maybe have not launched float planes from Messina and instead used her as a, um, or used her float planes for bombing. 
Alright, so our naval strikes are ready. We gotta find where they are. 2CL3 DD. That's a good report. Speed up, go this way. I do not think this is where their CAs are. We can't do a coordinated strike, so I'm gonna turn that off. Um, you know what? Target that. Launch the strikes. See if you can hit them. They probably are going to have carriers in this engagement, though, so I do need to be careful. However, I do have a lot of land-based cover. There we go. We got them spotted. All right. So Syracuse is not in the greatest of positions here. These are Carrie's Fort class. Oh, yeah, that thing's tiny. 31 knots, though. That one's 30. This might be their scout division, though. I should be aware of that possibility. Watch out, DDs, careful. Yep. We have scored a hit on the Wellen, or on that Wellen class. Alright. We are scoring hits on their destroyers, which is good. Because it would be really nice to be able to knock out, you know, more of their destroyers, start evening that playing field. Because I know that from a destroyer perspective, we are not doing great at the moment. We've lost a little too many and don't have funds to build anything right now. Okay. Our airstrikes are going over here. They should see them. Yeah, they see them. Good. They have found the enemy target. So that rifleman class is being a little annoying being out in front. So I'm going to start doing these, uh, I'm going to start swerving. Because that looks like torpedoes are in the water. Good news is, it looks like our, both of our strikes have found the enemy. Anything? Ah, uh, nothing other than a bit of disruption. Turn around. I know British torpedoes are longer range than ours. Alright, good. We have hit that one. Really worried. The DD situation is bad. Uh, that was a hit on one. But, you know, as long as we hold the advantage here, we're close. We're, we are closer to port than they are. Okay, so that rifleman is retreating hev or way heavily damaged. Uh, well, our light cruiser's having issues. We scored a 5-inch on the rifleman. I'm definitely more concerned about the cruisers here. I do not want these cruisers damaged or destroyed or anything. I'm really hoping that we can launch more uh, aircraft here soon. So our torpedo bombers have already returned to the carriers. We're just going to launch them again. They didn't do much, but, you know. Actually, you know what? What I'll do is I'll have one set of torpedo bombers go this way, because I can change their target, and then I'll have one set go down here at the rifleman. And see if I can just confirm a kill whenever the squadrons are actually ready to fly. Because that will happen. Uh, you will go down south for the rifleman. You will instead go up here. Okay, there we go. Both airstrikes are being launched at their intended targets now. So the rifleman is very damaged. Okay, they have turned around for some reason. Uh, our aircraft are going out over here. So we have that torpedo bomber strike over there looking for the rifleman. And then... Okay, no, I, would, I this is a little concerning. 
Uh, oh, good. Set ten and shit on the carries for it. Good shot. Uh, unfortunately, we have set ourselves up very well to be torpedoed by this Welland. Another ten and shit on the carries for it. So swerve in a little bit. Nice. We're scoring multiple ten and shits on her. And now she's slowed a lot. Come on. Do something. Damn it. Alright, so now we're going the other way. Let's go another hit on the Welland. Hit him hard. Retaliation for sinking our destroyers. Yep. We've hit that carries fort pretty hard. I mean, look at how slow it is in the water. Almost dead in the water. She's still up. But, you know, as long as we can score some good hits on her, we'll be fine. But I do have to kind of keep maneuvering here so they don't get a good torpedo solution. Even though the CL is dead in the water, though, it is allowing their other CL to escape. And so far, it looks like our torpedo bombers are just not able to do enough to them. Syracuse is getting a little closer than I want her to. And is launch. Oh, she's launching from her bow tube! Come on! Damn it. That's a miss. Okay then. Okay, that ship's dead. Um, so, scratch one on the carries fort. I was thinking, oh, a torpedo got her. Nope, she just exploded. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little bad to waste our... Um, no, that wasn't a torpedo. That was a 10 and shell hit, which blew her up. Um, I, I think what happens is after the first flash fire, nations do start taking or being aware of their shells. So it's a little bad that or to get something like that as the first flash fire. Um, okay, see if we can hit the wall in, wall in here. Because then we might not get another flash fire. Oh, we see another ship escaping this way. Interesting, interesting. Can you guys shoot the wellin, please? What are our destroyers down here doing? I don't know. So we have rescued survivors. I didn't see how many we rescued. We can check the log entry for that. We rescued... Uh, 36. Not bad for a ship which literally exploded. Uh, good news is, it looks like Livorno is scoring 5-inch hits on that Welland. Bad news is, it's not sinking it. Come on, Livorno. That was a foreign shell. The AI, I will say the AI is usually better at dodging torpedoes than the player, so I'm not super concerned. Did it blow up the whole ship? Yeah, yeah. It uh, caused a turret flash fire, so uh, think HMS Hood or British Battlecruisers at Jutland. Um, I think HMS Queen Mary, HMS... Now, Indefatigable suffered a magazine hit. I forget if Invincible suffered a flash fire or a magazine hit. I know Queen Mary was a uh, flash fire. But I forget if Indefatigable and Invincible were. I know, Ind actually, Indefatigable was two magazine hits, if I recall correctly. Like, they hit her aft magazine, and it crippled her. It might have sunk her. It's kind of... I, I don't know if that would have... I mean, she was still afloat after the aft magazine explosion, but definitely, you know, without power, the the stern was not afloat. The, the forward portion of the ship was afloat, and then she took a second magazine explosion to her forward magazine and promptly sank in real life. So good news is, um, I think they have absolutely failed to achieve any of their objectives, and they have, or the British have completely failed to attack our ships, and they have received... So definitely some damage in return. Unfortunately, two destroyers have gotten lost at night. I would prefer that not happen. Uh, but what can you do? So now we try to get into Messina and hope that we can regain control of those destroyers and that they don't run into anything because it's just too... A night action at this point is too risky from what I've learned. Yeah, go into Messina. Yes, and report. Ah, that's annoying. Yeah, that's going to be a destroyer damaged for a little bit. 
Okay, so which one is my flag now? You are my flag. Go into port. You are my flag. Yeah, rather damaged than sunk. I mean, it was just an event, but, you know. Yeah, I'll end the scenario. Okay, so we sank an enemy CL, heavily damaged two enemy destroyers, and moderately damaged one. We took a tiny bit of damage to one of our CLs and two of our D DDs. So, Comus was sunk. Um, so she took... First hit was a 10-inch hit to her engine room. That was why she was moving so slowly. 4F uh, tall hit, 10-inch, and then a uh, turret disabled. She was trying to repair her machinery. 10-inch... Yeah. Or another 10-inch hit. Or, no, didn't you miss? Uh, superstructure pass through, then superstructure hit. So she launched torpedoes at our destroyer. Lucky shot, yeah. Six inch critical hit, salt water enters, feed takes, machinery disabled. So that six inch hit also slowed her down again. Uh, near miss superstructure pass through, two four aft hull hits right there, um, along with a couple additional hull hits. So those would have certainly done stuff to her flooding situation and probably slowed her down even more. So to see the 10 inch hits here and then yeah 1612 this just happens. Um, that is six 10 inch hits landing and this one detonated her uh, forward turret and just caused the whole ship to explode. So the destroyer foil was the Welland class which we were damaging. Uh, we almost got her down. Wow. I was shooting down our planes and we just weren't able to do anything yet yeah, hurt disabled you know, six in, the four inch and the six inch hit at the end were only really able to disable our turret um, a couple of other hits did some damage she was moving at 17 knots but you know night was set and we kind of had to let her go Usk was another well in class destroyer so the rifleman must have been maybe this was the one which was escaping at the end yeah Syracuse shot this one twice so foil might have been the ship we saw evacuating to the uh, southeast earlier. And then Usk was the one we were chasing. Syracuse took that single six-inch hit to the waterline, which did a little bit of damage. Uh, Welland was another Welland... Okay, we misidentified a Welland-class destroyer as a, as a Rifleman class, so it was the Rifleman which was going south. This was one of the two Wellands we saw. Or probably the one which was escaping then. There's uh, La Massa and uh, our other destroyer which took a little bit of damage. Are you the one who ran aground in the dark? You're probably the one who ran aground. Yeah, run aground. That did it. Other than that, um, you rescued 36 survivors. Anything else? And some of our ships did sc score hits. You can see their hit percentage there. I I'm going to make more to do with uh, actually scrolling down this list in the future. To All right. Yeah, they failed their objective, they didn't sink any ships, and they lost a light cruiser, so that's good. We are still absolutely failing to destroy their, uh, um, destroyers. So, they have taken Eritrea and are now blockading us. This is bad. Brindisi will be entering service here soon, and I expect their full fleet or full force to be in the Mediterranean. We need to deal a decisive battle in the Med. Unfortunately, we do not have the destroyers to do it. <laughs> this is our major issue, is that so many of our destroyers are on trade protection duty, and this is our, this is our main fleet. We have two more of these 900-ton uh, destroyers building, but they're going to take another 10 months. We may need to just go with cheap destroyers here soon, too. We need everything. We need more aircraft carriers. We need that. France. Oh, God. France. No. France. No. No. Next turn. Cruiser action. I decline. Brindisi is commissioned. Uh, I cannot afford to do it. All right. Aircraft types. Oh, yeah. Fighter request in progress. I think it is time to design that CVL we were talking about. So, open design for Marco Polo. Torpedo Defense 2. Uh, I think I want to go like 22 knots. Maybe 
Maybe 23 knots. Oil firing. Shoot. That's the limey teeth realignment coming along. Uh, not super great today so far. Uh, so I need you to be an AV. Uh, no aircraft. Right now I'm trying to get a carrier out. We're going to need a bigger Navy. Yeah. Change it to an AMC. Fire control type needs to be local. Ship has short range. And get more of those in. Yeah, we will go 23 knots. Um, leave it at the maximum size for that. So unfortunately, this is going to cost a lot to build. And will probably run us into the red. I might just need to accept it running us into the red. Because I need to get this ship done. We need more carriers. Just saw the France slider. Yeah, that's really not good. And our research is on two. Everything, Everything's going south. Britain is a very difficult enemy to fight. Next turn. Cruiser action up in Dalmatia. I will accept. What? Okay, then. Did the month change? Uh, can you guys check? Actually, hold on. I need to rewind the stream slightly. Um, I'm not sure I can. Uh, okay, then. Convoy defense at Rhodes. Sure. Attack enemy ships in general. It didn't change, it didn't change. The monthly balance uh, didn't adjust. Fuck me! No, 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 this is not what I needed. This is not what I needed. Not a destroyer engagement. I need to fight their main line ships. Nope, just run. All of you, run. We do not want to accept this battle. We cannot afford to lose any destroyers here. Although, if we play ahead of them like this, it may... <sighs> These guys... Oh, damn it, those are Antonio Mostos. If we run away, we lose. This is... This is the... Fuck, CAs are here too? This is the worst mission I could have been given. I would not have accepted a destroyer engagement. It do some stalling. That's what I'm trying. Look, the problem here is that we cannot be affording to lose destroyers right now. If we lose destroyers, we're, we don't have a destroyer backlog. Destroyers right now are too valuable to us. What is the current uh, limit to max speed? 22 knots at the moment. We are scoring early hits. We kind of have the T crossed here. We are launching torpedoes from one ship at that Etwick. And we are ahead of them. Which is important. Come on! Oh, we fire all of our torpedoes at them. They do nothing. They fire torpedoes at us and get a hit. <laughs> on the AI force, because of course they do! Of course it is impossible for me to score any torpedo hits on the British, and yet they seem to do it with ease! What the fuck?! I don't know what's going on! I... This is bullshit! This is actual bullshit! Um... See, I said we cannot lose destroyers, and what happens? We immediately start losing destroyers. We can't hit them worth a damn with torpedoes. No, it can't be friendly fire. No ships are behind them. We aren't able to do a damn thing to them, and the British, the British torpedoes have been godly this war. Um, we have, like, completely lost on the destroyer front, which is why I disabled night fighting training, because I realized 
that um, that's not a front we can win on. Um, because of this bullshit. I mean, you're looking at that. How did they they torpedoed two destroyers? You know, one of those is definitely lost. One of those is probably lost. I mean, they haven't gotten at the merchants, but still, just what? We were in front of them. We were ahead of them. We were in an advantageous position. We fired off torpedoes. Ours missed. They fired off torpedoes. Theirs hit. Should have we should have denied this, but it's impossible to tell if I'm gonna get destroyers or cruisers in this sort of engagement. Or at least maybe I should have checked the size. But you know, if this was a light cruiser battle, then that's the sort of battle I want. If this was a battleship battle, that's really the sort of battle I want. Good news is, uh, it looks like our sinking destroyer is actually soaking up a lot of fire here. But uh, I cannot afford this. British have torpedo hacks or something. All right. Yeah, rescue survivors. It is, it's a little ridiculous how good the British are at torpedoing in this game. Solferino is trying to rescue survivors from our sunken ship. Identified something as a CA. What? I don't think so. Alright, go back to the merchant convoy. Lily is also supposed to have a DD. Yeah, this is bullshit. This is complete bullshit. The whole destroyer fights this war have only been bullshit. Like, I'm not sure that that should not have happened. You know, you should not be able to be scoring torpedo hits on destroyers that easily, and yet that is exactly what the British destroyers have repeatedly been able to do this war. Um, Britain has repeatedly landed torpedo hits on my destroyers. Um, honestly, no, I want to disengage at night. I do not want to fight them at night. My hope this battle was that Rhodes and Lindos would be able to ride a bit of air support, but you can't really do that in this part of the agent. Actually, no, this is more the agent. You can't really do that right there. So yeah, that is bad. That is uh, two dis at least one destroyer lost. Probably two destroyers lost. Yep, two destroyers sunk. Ah, oh, this is yep. Torpedo engine disabled DD Rother. Yep, and then Francesco Stoko was hit by. Yep. Same destroyer! The same destroyer torpedoed both of mine! Wow! What the fuck? Did Rother even get damaged? No! No, she didn't! Look at that! She just launched torpedoes at our ship and scored it! She only had six torpedo tubes! What? Britain, what? Uh, two out of six? Uh, that's, that's some bullshit. So Farino took a five inch, or a couple five inch hits, and that did more damage than the uh, five inch hit we scored on Waven, and more than the uh, five inch hit we scored on that. Well, no, they scored on that. So yeah, um, we are badly losing the destroyer war at the moment. No! Please don't. Please be an old one. Please be an old one. No! 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 This is lost. This is lost at this point. Uh, we gotta get Regina Passes out there now. We gotta get that thing with aircraft. On her. Um. If we look at the ship sunk, though, I do want to check that destroyer which just uh, sank. So that was, um, started with an I. This guy. Oh, thank fucking goodness. It was an old one. You know what I'm going to do? 
You guys are going back in frontline service. No more increased depth charge storage. Honestly, your main guns are going to be made dual purpose. Um, not P. Um, okay, so this is... Okay, we can't really get this. Well, if we do that... So we get a triple tube. If I wanted to try to get two or that many triple tubes out of these uh, ships. Could I rebuild the machinery? I could. So we have 28 out of 21 on uh, coastal duty. This would take a surprising number of that away. But at this point, it is necessary. Okay, not legal. Correct that. I think we're good. Alright then. Eight months. And it's expensive. So, uh, guess we are... You know, I'm gonna halt Regina Passes for a tiny bit. Uh, build a new ship. I'm gonna need Corvettes. Or design a new ship. Uh, Corvette. Auto design, I want a... Th no, auto design a 600 tonner if you can. I want a 300 tonner. Can we do increased depth charge storage? No, we can't. Give it a 3 inch, a single 3 inch, forward. Yeah, I do want to use coal. I need these things to be cheap. Can we do increased depth charge storage on her? Uh, yes, we can. Alright, time for... Actually, no, no minesweeping gear. We need sub-hunters. Alright. Open design. Put minesweeping gear on this one. Just a new name. Give me four minesweepers. This is... Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. Every time I fight Britain in my games, it always winds up going bad. Just every single time. Yeah. Cruiser action down here in Libya. Libya is nearby where we can provide support. We need to spam more destroyers. It, where is money? Where is money? We need to spam destroyers. We need carriers. We basically need everything. We need good battleships. We only have two actual good battleships right now. Okay, where are they? When am I going to gain control over my forces? There we go. Hopefully it'll be daytime soon. So the goal here is to attempt to use our torpedo bombers in Libya to hit something. And medium bombers. I, I need Britain to react to us in the med. Or, well, Britain and France now. That's going to be a big issue. Because France is here. We need these guys to react to our forces and get torpedo bombed and sunk. Uh, yeah, we'll continue searching. Because it's going to be daytime soon. And we are under our own air cover, and the enemy's not going to have good air cover in this area. Alright, there's our recon flights going out. Fortunately, our recon flights are taking a very similar path to our airships, and I'd rather just have the airships on recon. Wow, they actually are between us and port. Come on, guys, send... That is the worst thing which could have happened! I fucking swear. Yep. It's over. Okay. We win. They were just there. We were just there. Nothing happened. No. We are blockaded again. Because now they actually have the base capacity in the region. Um, we need to get these... Uh, 
You know what? Fine. Fuck it. I'm going into the red. I need to get Regina Passes done. We need an aircraft carrier that badly. We need a damn good victory here, too. Enemy gains 100 victory points. Damn it. Okay, yeah, no, can't do that. That's really bad. Um, halt. Halt a bunch of them. This long war is bad. We cannot afford to do anything is the problem. We do not have the budget to be able to fight this war. Like I was hoping we would. Yeah. Okay, now is where things get interesting. So this is against France. They decline. Fuck you. Convoy defense, medium size, I'll accept. Coastal raid here. It's a large size. We have Russian allied ships too. All right, so we have the CAs, Regina Elena and Carlo Alberto. We also have our CVLs. What has Russia sent us? So those are our... Yeah, those are our AVs. Russia, what have you sent us? Have you sent us anything? I'm not seeing anything here. Yeah, all these are Italian names. Do we have a support force around? This isn't much of a chance. This isn't the battle I needed. I would love to sink something here. Actually, want ready up. Well, don't ready up the aircraft yet. I don't see any support force, though. For the allied ships. Is it just coastal forces? Is that literally all they've sent us? I'm not seeing any on coastal forces. Some ships from Russia have joined our forces. Yeah, where? No, no they didn't. So it does look like France is currently trying to go for Corsica. So it is good to know that because that's where we want to focus aircraft if that's their target. Now, the question is, I don't know what Britain is going for. But I will want to make sure that the Cors or the aircraft divisions at Corsica are stacked up more. Britain is probably going for a different target. Once we figure out what Britain's target is though. We oh fuck, they What did they stumble into? A destroyer. Come on, score a hit. Weather limits air operations. Come on, give me my one advantage in this region. My one advantage is aircraft operations. And I am not getting that in most of my op or most of my battles at this point. This is like bullshit ridiculous. All right, stay at cruise speed for now. Uh, go at 20 knots actually. So there's somewhere in this area Okay, there we go. It is going to be daytime relatively soon. As soon as we see our land base aircraft start to launch. Oh, fuck! I hate you being separated. Do you have any more torpedoes? Yes, you do. Please, shoot them. Fire them. There we go. Get away. Nothing. No hits. All right, I want these torpedo bomber strikes readied as soon as possible. C 
Cut north. They're opening fire at a coastal destroyer. Which is more acceptable. Okay. So we still know they are here. I kind of want to wait till day if I can. Oh my god. Stop stumbling into them like a moron. I'm not going to attack them at night. Yes. Launch float planes. Screw it. Launch. Okay. Their landing time is too soon. Two, three, four. So your target is here. Any time is 5.58. So what time is Dawn? Dawn from the flagship will be in... 50 minutes is 4.34. Actually, no, that's Dawn. Only Dawn, yeah. Not Day. I don't know when Dawn ends. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One of our, it looks like one of our destroyers has launched another uh, torpedo at them. Launch the strike right now. Do it. Yeah, sure. Launch float planes. Doesn't matter too much. We're probably going to lose the installation, but if we can sink some ships here, that would be good. What is our carrier division doing? I don't know. So it looks like some of their ships might have gotten caught up here. Yep, they killed the installation. Come on. It's going to be dawn now. Squad max. Wait, what? I don't know what I hit there. And just like that, as dawn approaches, their three light cruisers are within gun range of Regina Elena, Carlo, or Regina Elena and Carlo Alberto. So it looks like these are a mix of British and French designs, I'm guessing. Actually, wait, no. Are they all British? Yeah, they're all British. Never mind. Um, okay, well, in, you're hitting a well in class. Oh, God, you are way too up at the front. Pull the fuck back. Those things have a lot of torpedoes on them. Now, what is that? That's a CA. Switch fire to that CA division. Uh, you start being a support unit. Okay, those are those are the French CLs. Okay. What are you guys doing? No. No. That is a stupid move and you know it. Actually, Brindisi is not in a bad position, but these that Leander torpedoes though are very concerning. All right. Is the, our air strike is going up here. Cool. Come on, hit him. Hit something here. We've not had good luck with our airstrikes. We've honestly not had good luck getting battleship engagements like I need. Okay, cool. They are approaching. And nothing. Our torpedo bombers are absolutely useless. Actually, the interesting thing is that Messina and Venezia are older CLs, so they might actually be able to do a little bit of something. Now, I'm hoping that our land air base can actually send some bombers to these targets. That would be nice. Maybe bad angle. It's just bad everything. Bad luck at this point.
Okay, yeah, torpedo bombers are now prepared. Launch. Uh, yeah, just launch. I'm sure I do not want to coordinate the strike. We have them tucked in this corner back here for the moment. The more ships we can eliminate, the better. Regina Lena, fire control damage. Damn it. We are firing kind of at the limits of our gun range, though. But hopefully our air bases should actually be able to do something. I've tried to turn the Mediterranean into a gauntlet, and it's not working. Oh, God. What are you guys doing? I will adjust. So it looks like they are now going up here. Pull away. Things are very... Yeah, they are. Oh, please, guys, don't be stupid. Okay, French destroyers are charging us. Okay, so we have launched another airstrike at them. And I'm hoping that this hits. Or does something. Because our airstrikes have not been doing anything so far. Hey, is that another airstrike? Yes, 12 torpedo bombers, come on. You have, you are right on top of them. There we go. Cool. Oh, come on. I'm half considering just ditching all my aircraft at this point. They only seem... Well, they seem to be useful against battleships, but we're getting a lot of these light actions, and it's turning out that my navy is not well built for these light actions. Do we have the eight torpedo bomber flights up yet? Because that would be nice. I know we also have medium bombers at some of these ports. It would be nice to use them. Dive bombers. Uh, I can't get them yet. Okay, come on. Where are the torpedo bomber divisions? I know they're up. Is that them? Or is that the cap? No, that's the cap. Those are the fighter squadrons. On. We just have them pinned here. If we can just use our airstrikes to take them out, that would be amazing. But no, we can't. And I'm too afraid to get close because their destroyers have been terrifying. Do you know what? Recon. No. Naval strike. What can you carry? A 300 pound bomb. Do it. Three. Strike exceeds sec load. One. Yeah, go to flying. Because, fuck it, I'm just gonna start launching my float planes at him. At this point. Heavy. Naval strike, attack. Torps don't work, hit them with bombs. Yep. I mean, they are pinned against the coast. So I'm just going to stop ordering my... I'm going to stop the automatic ordering of my uh, float or my seaplane carriers of uh, recon flights and just continuously launch uh, bombing attacks from them. And just launch that strike, please. Do we have any more we can launch from the seaplane carrier division? Nope. Okay, we've scored a 10 inch on the Jean Bar. It is lightly damaged. Hey, we're scoring more hits. Why is that the location you thought that it would. that my strike was going to? No. Here. What the hell? I clearly specified here. 
Great job, World of Waves 2. What? What is going on? Oh, because it was originally on recon flights. So it was going to send them off to the recon location, and it didn't accept my uh, complete change of location, which was obvious, and I had ordered. Yeah, we're running out of ammo. Enemy attack. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, it might be up here. It's prob there's probably a bunch of scouting going on over there. You don't have much on you. You're going to flying. Yes, I would like to adjust your location. Hit here and just see if you can bomb them. Because at this point... Where, where are torpedo bombers? How, how have our torpedo bombers... They were ordered here. How have they not spotted them? bombs in their engine room. Yeah. The problem is a lot of these cruisers, I mean, they have destroyers here and a lot of these cruisers have torpedoes. So as much as I want to get, you know, close in and just wreck their asses, um, you know, given how good the British torpedoes have been, it's extremely risky. I mean, maybe not the Jean Bart. Does they have five air? No, no, that's our... That's because I was focused on the float plane, uh, or seaplane tender last. Alright, so hopefully our naval strikes will actually do something and spot the enemy, which they are flying over right now. Oh, that Focono class is annoying. The Jean Bart is on fire, though. And we scored a couple hits on the Levossier. The Levossier. Good. One damaged medium bomber crashes while landing. Wow, that torpedo bomber flight actually didn't find him. Launch. Oh, you only have one torpedo remaining. Go to heavy. Launch. Just hit them. Hit them with something. Come on, you guys are right on top of them. Do float plane scout strikes just not work or something? Because they didn't think anybody would be dumb enough to attempt to use float plane scouts to uh, sink enemy ships. Nope, they work. It missed. To be expected. Wow, our other torpedo bomber flight returned without doing anything and it wasted all of its torpedoes. Despite the... Are you blind? Are my pilots morons? There's a single plane, though. Yes, I'd like to change the location. Go up there. Like, seriously. We're just ping-ponging them back and forth at this point. And... We're trying to get these airstrikes in. And... For the life of them, they can just not land a hit. Come on. You were attacking a target. Attack your target, please. Yes, I will adjust your location. I didn't hear any attack sounds. Maybe they did, and they're just going back already. Oh, we sank something. Something sank there. That's good. Honestly, we just gotta hit them with anything at this point. What are you guys doing? You guys are screens for the CBLs. I will want you to be screens for Regina and Lena so we can concentrate more of our firepower forward. It would be nice, though, if we could sink some of the destroyers here. We can't we'll run out of ammo. Because we're wasting so much of it. With the way we're shooting. All right. You know what? Go to torpedo. Go to torpedo. One aircraft. Launch here. Yeah. And you will go to heavy, and I will just launch you two together in a coordinated, in a coordinated strike. So there we go. Now we have more strikes being launched. 
flight that flew away. I'm assuming that they were going to land on the seaplane carrier. Yeah, Venezia has one, or Venezia has a float plane. I will not order them to launch any more uh, float planes, but I'm going to try to do larger squadron attacks rather than just one. So I'm going to wait for more to return. Mostly the torpedo bombers just didn't see the enemy, and I don't know how. Oh, come on. How are you this blind? Um, I will adjust the final strike location. It'll be there. And you will be there. Okay, we're hitting the Jaune Bar. Sfax and the Vossier are up front. I'm guess I'm betting that's a destroyer or possibly a coastal vessel of ours they sunk. Jean Bart is heavily damaged. We have scored a six inch on the Svax. Um, should be careful of torpedoes at this point. There we go. We forced them to turn around. That's good. Yeah, I don't know how the hell they don't see it. Every everyone in all of my navies in Rule the Waves 2 for the past few campaigns have just been completely and utterly incompetent. It feels like Austria-Hungary might actually be the only nation I can play well in this game. Um, or one of the larger ones. I don't know, Germany's pretty fun, too. My Austria-Hungary, the original Austria-Hungary campaign was really good. And every other one since then has been crap. Other than the Canada campaign, the Canada campaign was fun. Ooh. Rule the from the depths waves. Ah, uh, okay. I think the pilots are completely drunk. Yep. Oh, oh, they're escaping up north now. That's bad. Uh, good news is it looks like our strikes are in the region, but they are not. They're just overflying them. They're not hitting. They're not doing anything. Like they need to. How are you this blind? Is it like, oh, we think there's battleships in the region. Let's go hunt battleships. Oh, no, there's not battleships here. Let's let's go try to target whatever we want. Oh, no, they're suddenly gone and out of sight. Whatever shall we do? It's just bullshit. 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 Bullshit that you guys are this bad at finding targets. <clears throat> Maybe they've taken the phrase of um, carrots improve your vision as uh, let's stick carrots in our eyes and that'll improve our vision. Okay, come on. You know what? I'm done. I'm done with this engagement. This is... This is terrible. They are just running away. And there's nothing we can do about it. See, wind carriers, you just turn this way. I'm just going to Messina. We have lost. We have lost this mission. Because... Uh, air power in 1920 is terrible at sinking anything which isn't a battleship or a carrier, apparently. Uh... You guys go to 22, or cruise speed. Towards Messina, towards Messina. But like, wow, what was that performance? What was that performance? Scenario length is reached, we lose a submarine, we lose two coastal destroyers, and we sink a total of one enemy destroyer. So Freant was on Bart. It was on fire, but we didn't sink it. It's just... Yeah, this is... Honestly, if we lose this war, I'm probably just going to call this campaign to a close. Like, I'm going to be honest, I'm I'm sick of playing these sorts of campaigns. Because um, it's like, having a good underdog story is always fun. But so far, every time we're the underdog, we lose. Just no matter what. And it's either due to bullshit, um, just some absolutely terrible, terrible luck... Or it's due to sub-spam. Or, or being blockaded for too long despite winning everything. It's either I'm winning everything or bullshit happens. 
Um, I'll just go through the damage reports here. Sometimes you gotta be the bully and have fun. Yeah. Part of me wants to do a Britain campaign next, because the British ships just... They kind of refuse to explode for me until they're, like, already sinking. Or already very damaged. Um, or sinking, or... Yeah. At least the British battleships, especially. Like... I mean, look at the Japan game. You know, British battleships in Rule the Waves 2, they are supposed to explode very frequently. That's what Hidden Flaws means. Yeah, they destroyed our bombardment target. It says they failed somehow, so that's fine. That's, I guess, a little game glitch. Or you just blockade the entire world at once, yeah. I mean, it did do that US campaign at one point, where it was uh, hindered somewhat. Um... You know, this war is not going well for us. And unfortunately, I'm wondering if the crew quality drop really didn't help us out. Because I was trying to do the whole, let's just rush this carrier out, and then it's like, oh, I can't afford it. I, I need to get these destroyers upgraded and get replacements, because, you know, we badly need replacements for our uh, coastal patrol at this point. We just don't have ships. And... Oh, hey, new training applied. Has that... Yes! Thank you, Russia! Thank you! You have saved me, Russia! You don't know how we won that? We sank an enemy, or a modern enemy destroyer, and technically... Or for whatever reason, the game considered it that we didn't dest Or that they didn't destroy the bombardment target. Uh, I don't know why, it's stupid. But, you know, apparently the game's looking that way. So this one has a little bit better maneuverability and a little bit better toughness. Um, but worse speed. I will go for that one. Uh, good news is, though, I think we can resume construction on our new carrier and bring her forward a month. And we are, you know, half a year out from getting four destroyers. And one turn out from getting all these guys. Aircraft types. I want probably a new, honestly at this point, torpedo bomber. Um, speed and range. Yes. Actually, no, speed and reliability. Yeah. Oh, please. Damn you, France. Enemy raid up there. This is risky. Let's go for it. Actually, I'm going to need to be right back. So let me uh, put that up. But yeah, it actually looks like we have forces here. So yeah, be right back.
Alright, I am back, and it looks like we actually have some ships. Some, you know, actually good ships here. So if I recall correctly, uh, we have the older battle cruisers, Lepanto and Vetter Pisani of the both of the Lepanto class. These are armed with eight 13-inch guns and are actually pretty decent warships. Then we have a uh, Gisip Garibaldi, which if I co or which if I recall correctly is only it's, it's only a positive addition to the team because of the damage it can distract from the other ships. Yeah, in this ship's uh, first battle, she really did not shoot well. We do have the AVs in Kona and Venezia. As well as our CVLs, Veris and Marco Polo, who should be immediately readying up their torpedo bombers. This is midday. Uh, over here, we have the CO Salerno and some destroyers, and they're scouting. So this is going to be, I think, an engagement, right? Yeah, we do have some air bases in the region too. The good news is the new training is applied, so hopefully that'll uh, help our budget situation as well. It does seem like it did. Oh, nice, nice job. Hopefully you sank it. Um, with the CVLs, that's a little concerning, but. Uh, Good. Oh, ports of a trader. Ports of a light cruiser. Interesting. There you go. Battle cruiser spotted. Ready them. I don't know how long that'll take. As soon as that group is ready, we're launching it. Or that extra additional single torpedo bomber. When is she ready? Come on, ready up here soon. Cap takes off. There you go. Alright. Coordinated strike. We're seeing them in this region. Priority target BB. Looks like they are heading down probably this way. Now, I will launch the strikes first, but I will briefly check the report. So the BCs, yep. Actually, cut in, I would say cut in this way, but you have your carriers here, so you do need to be a little careful of that. We're going to need, oh, I'm concerned. We need to go 20 knots and start. What we need to do is we need to make sure that our forces, or that we are, between the enemy and La Spesa. You guys should be moving at full speed, which is apparently 19 knots. Does one of you have, like, an engine malfunction? No, you guys can only go 19 knots. Okay. So, yeah, go at 19 knots, then. Because right now, what we need to do is we need to kind of slip in here. We don't want them to cut us off. Found them. Go back to AI control for the moment. And at the exact point in time, our torpedo bombers approach. Oh, we have a land-based airstrike, too. Nice. Two hits on something. Two hits. Good shot. Good shot. That's a battle cruiser. Oh, nicely done. Hey, Sampa. We are torpedoing battle cruisers right now. Nice. Torpedo hit on the lil. Torpedo's working now. What? Yeah. They work on heavy enemy units. Just nothing else. Shift your fire shift your fire to the battle cruiser division. So those are definitely French battle cruisers. I don't know what that is. That might be another scout unit. Yes. More enemies approaching them. Uh we actually hit a cruiser with the torpedo. That would have been nice last battle. How's your campaign going? Um, up until this battle, poorly. Um, and the French got involved, and I was really, really hoping they wouldn't get involved, but, you know. Good news is, we are actually scoring torpedo hits. So Lil is 
probably more modern. The 14 aircraft's a lie. Um, six 15-inch guns, so she's not very well armed. She's not super well armored. She is very fast, but that speed isn't going to matter much right now. And the Dunkirks are old and would have been from probably our previous war with them. Are we getting all of our guns firing at them? No, we are not getting our aft turrets. Come on. Okay. Now we have a good broadside. I mean, a little heavy bomb. Torpedoes are just better at this point in time. Damn it. That is not what I needed. Uh, they have a, s a scout plane strike. Okay, then. Uh, yeah, just launch over there. That's a scout plane strike. <laughs> it's a scout plane strike. What are they going to do? They're scouts. They're not going to do much. They're not going to land much of a hit on the battleships. Okay, so we're porting an AV over here. Okay, we've hit the Dunkirk with a 15-inch shell. How? What's your hit percentage? Hey, your hit percentage is actually okay. This campaign's going well. We replace under severe limitations. We'd be reasonably loud. Ah, uh, yeah. Just got 16 inch guns. Right. That's why I don't accept naval treaties unless it's like absolutely advantageous. Alright. They have an AVL. I don't think they have a CVL. We got a superstructure pass through hit on her, unfortunately. So we can only go 20. Wait, can she go for full 27? Yeah. But, you know, the other two I think can only go 26. Yeah. Uh, so, that did not penetrate her belt. We scored a 5-inch hit. Come on, you guys are battle cruisers. Act like it. Alright. Strike up over here. Just launch. There we go. That's a hit we wanted to see. Oh, that's a light. Light gun hit. Oh! We just destroyed a turret. So the Lil is being forced to retreat. Uh, you took another heavy hit. It was a secondary battery penetration that has probably disabled or destroyed a secondary gun. And it looks like we've scored a 13 inch hit on her. Damn it. Damn it, we're taking more hits than we're dishing. Uh. Give her credit. Guys, the Garibaldi is soaking up damage pretty well. We scored a couple of hits. Good. Uh, it looks like Vetter Pisani took a couple of hits there, but they didn't do anything. Um, infrastructure pass through. So we only have a single torpedo bomber remaining on those two ships. So it does look like the French are significantly behind in terms of uh, some technology. So I'm going to launch that strike there and see if we can knock out the Lil. So we got a Dunkirk over here, which we're reporting heavy damage on. That one might have been struck by a couple torpedoes. We're reporting heavy damage on that one. Vetter Pisani is still taking hits. Unfortunately, we have a lot of structural damage now on these ships. But it's not looking like we're getting a lot of damage below the hull. Um, on the other hand, we're just not landing the amount of heavy hits I want to. I'm really hoping, though, that our land air bases launch another strike. But there we go. That Those are more of the hits I want to see. So which division? Yeah, you guys are going for that division. So we got the additional Dunkirk out over here, which is still firing at us. We are scoring 15-inch shell hits on these guys. We'll say, though, it would be a major win to knock out all four of these BCs. Um, yes, I will adjust my target. You will strike out up here. We have a destroyer charging us. Pull back. Uh, good. <laughs> good? Uh, that's probably a dead CL. Or at least a doomed one. 
Not quite dead yet. Nice! Which one? That one. Got one. Oh, another hit! Another hit on one of these two! Come on! I'm hoping that the strike on the Lil will also land. Or maybe it did land, but hit the wrong ship. Actually, turn more this way. Which Dunkirk was that? That was good one to hit. Good one to hit. So we've killed one Dunkirk. We've heavily damaged Lil. And we are now landing additional hits on these guys. So... One battlecruiser is kill. One is heavily damaged and retreating. Uh, they have probably found the wrong ships. And are not doing the right thing. But good news is all the enemy ships are now slow. And we're still fast. Actually, wait, there's our eight torpedo bomber strikes coming out. Oh, they found... Oh, they got distracted on the wrong Dunkirk. And they have patrol boats attacking us. Can we disperse or disperse a little bit? Actually, no, wait, no, go this way. What are you... Okay, you're launching torpedoes at the very, very dead enemy Dunkirk. Oh. Okay, yeah, you hit that one. But it looks like we have our torpedo bomber strike now in the right location. Hopefully they find the right ships. So something sank down here. Do we have any... Yes, we have this torpedo bomber strike. So, where was... So that that's her. That's definitely the Lil. So I'm going to launch that torpedo bomber. And you can carry eight. You only have one torpedo left, though. So I'm going to do one launch. Seven on heavy. Coordinate you guys and launch. And honestly, being able to push in this direction may mean that the Lil groups up again with these two ships. Oh, come on. Eight torpedo bomber strike. You are right over them. You have... They're right there. These are the guys I want you to hit. Please. I think that's it. No, that's 50% ammo remaining. Yes, I would like to adjust the target. Come on. You are... There we finally fucking go. Come on, something, some hit. Nope, nothing. But it did force him to slow down. That's, that's Lil down there. We got all three enemy battlecruisers in sight now. Is the Dunkirk sunk? Okay, so there's the Lavoisier. There's something else. Uh, Dunkirk is... So that's that Dunkirk. Where's the other Dunkirk? There it is. So if we can force them down south, uh, they aren't exactly going to be able to do too much. Okay, we are scoring more hits on this Dunkirk. We're running out of we're running low on ammunition. Uh Okay, that could have been worse. That could have been a lot worse. That is actually a uh thing of good luck happening to me. Wow. Never thought never thought I'd see the day. Unfortunately, you guys are not really going to be able to do too much. Yet, yeah, nope. Fortunately, it'll be nighttime. Oh, gee, that was scary as hell. 
Yep. Okay, come on. We need to sink this guy. Like, we've already sunk one. Nope, we've already sunk two. That's a kill. Second confirmed kill. Two Dunkirks down. AV bomb hit. They have scored a bomb hit on, yep, the enemy AV. Cool. Third Dunkirk down. All three Dunkirks are dead. We gotta push past now. If you're gonna target anything at this point, target the AV. Uh, n as soon as you can, you need to target that unidentified ship right there, which is firing back at you. How fast can you guys move? 25 knots. BC Division up front, target it. Damn it! Okay, they only have two destroyers over here. So, I'm gonna keep up the chase. Sink the Saber class, please. If it suddenly turns into us, though, we are gonna suddenly have to maneuver. There we go, it's spotted again. Nope. Turn. Massively. Alright, pull this maneuver here. Yes to all. Yes to all. Rescue survivors from that, uh, I presume... That might have been one of the Dunkirks which sank. Yeah. Alright, start swerving. That was why. Uh... It's too risky. It's way too risky at this point. As much as I want to sink that Lil, I think she's just going to get away. Squad max is now 20 knots. Uh, at this point, uh, maybe uh, yeah, return to uh, La Spiza. Yep, they launched torpedo spread at us. That's enough to get me to turn around. Yeah, three, three BC sunk is plenty enough. I would have loved to have gotten the fourth, but... Um, oh, well. Turn to La Spiza. I think your uh, five flooding is not good. Part of me just wants to go squad max and run. Yeah, run for La Spiza. Get into port. Better, Way better to get into port here than it is to just sit out and uh, take all that damage. Are you slowing down? Not quite. Not quite so badly yet. This was the right decision, though, given that that flooding does seem to be continuous. She's in port. Alright, you guys can only go 18 knots yet. Go to port. Sing the force. It's like, it's here, you objected after not losing a BC a carrier and crippling the French fleet. Admittedly, their fourth one is actually decently modern. Okay. That was a good battle. It wasn't... It could have been better, but it was a very good battle still. Yep, they got their ships into port. Yep, three, we suffered un one undamaged, one lightly damaged, one medium damage, and no damage to any of our other ships. We managed to take out three enemy battle cruisers, heavily damaged a fourth, uh, sank two light cruisers, and sank a destroyer. So, I believe this is all the um, Dunkirk class. So this one took a torpedo from Vares, took a 13-inch shell hit, then two more torpedoes, and that caused her to sink. So that was the first one we saw sinking. Uh, Lyon... So she evaded air attack and then was taking 15-inch shell hits, 13-inch shell hits, multiple 15 and 13-inch shell hits. She was on fire for a bit, it looks like. High speed increases flooding, so she had some flooding there from from some shells. At this point, she was on heavy, or heavy flooding from this salvo and on fire from that salvo. So she was fighting both, and eventually the flooding got her even though her fire was at 8. So, but basically, both the flooding and the fire were killing this ship at the same time. Yeah. 
and then Dunkirk, lead ship of her uh, now destroyed class. She was taking 13 inch hits at first. Uh, she took a torpedo from the air station. Crew hit bridge destroyed. A lot of 13 inch hits there from the, or it looks like Lepanto largely was shooting at her, and then Garibaldi. Uh, Dr. Pisani scored some hits. Got fire control damaged. Yeah, she was sinking from just all the 13 inch shell hits. I assume the torpedoes hit her after she was sinking. Yep. Uh, Lil, heavy damage in port. Okay, so she was really slowed, but I think I had underestimated how much uh, flooding she had. She wasn't that close to sinking, so it probably really wasn't worth it going after her. But yeah, she takes the, that early torpedo, then a second torpedo, 13-inch hit, and then 15-inch hit and 13 inches. She didn't take too much damage, but yeah, she wasn't going to sink. Uh, guys of Garibaldi... Took multiple shell hits here. So Doug, the Dud torpedo was from Dunkirk. <laughs> Their battle cruiser success. That that was where the Dud torpedo came from. The enemy battle cruiser. Um, and then uh, the actual torpedo came from uh, Sarbacane. Alger took a torpedo and sank. That was uh, Jean Bart class. Uh, Galilee was the Lavoisier class, and she took two torpedoes and. Sank. Better Pisani. Yeah, lots of 14 inch shell hits from Dunkirk. And I don't think she was. Yeah, her main battery wasn't really scoring hits at this time. It did score later. Uh, Saber was sunk, so she took multiple 6 and 5 inch hits, and I didn't pay much attention to her because she just sank. And uh, Sarbicane took a single 6 inch hit, which is kind of lame for her torpedoing us. What were our hit percentages? So, were you useful this battle? Yes, you were. You were very useful. Uh, Vetter Pisani took that much. Or, not that much. Uh, did 2.14. So she was the worst of our ships, but wasn't particularly bad. And then, Lepanto was 4.38. So Lepanto did a really good job in terms of shooting. Yeah, no, good battle. We took more aircraft losses than them, but our aircraft definitely did some stuff. Actually, I know I saw what was uh, hitting them with torpedoes, but your tor tor torpedo hits, yeah, one from an air station, one was from Marco Polo, because we timed those attacks within minutes somehow. Uh, your four torpedo hits, were they after you were sinking? Okay, no, there we go, torpedo from Naval Air Station. Uh, take a second torpedo before you were sunk. Okay, there's the torpedo at the... <laughs> The Panto class. No, so you, you were just hit by torpedoes in the end? Yeah. And they got 240 survivors. We got 48. Yeah, so I saw what your torpedoes were from. Leon, where you didn't take a torpedo hit. Um, Dukens, you took four. So your first one was from a CVL. And then the next two were from the air station. And then the fourth one was from a destroyer. Okay, then. Good battle. Two prestige. Eight corvettes are commissioned. Continue operations will secure our victory. Oh, hey. Better version of our medium bomber. Cool. Marco Polo is damaged. That's going to hurt. But we actually have money. And Regina Paris... Or Paris, no. Regina Passes is going to finally complete. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm actually going to resume uh, conversion of two of these guys. Actually, no, four of these guys, because I need them out sooner. <laughs> yeah, because we completed a bunch of stuff. Hello there, trade protection ships. Go on to trade protection. Thank you. We need the carrier. We do. We badly need the carrier. Yeah, 27 out of 20. All right, so... Finally, good battle. Uh, in terms of repair, do any of our battleships currently, or Valkyries, need repair after that battle? No, they do not. That is good. Unfortunately, Marsala is still just halted here. Unexpected battle. Enemy coastal raid. Attack enemy ships in general. Please. What do we get? What do we get? So, okay, so we have control of two forces here. Interesting. Okay, okay. We get Amerigo Vespucci. We get Dante Alighieri. And we get Roma. Okay, Roma's crap. Roma's a bit crap at this point. But Dante Alighieri and Amerigo Vespucci. Oh, we got the two good ones. We actually got the two very excellent battleships. 
Um, these things are big and they are heavily armed. And they're protected by stuff and hopefully this will be a somewhat fair fight. Up here we have Regina Elena and Carlo Alberto. Our second control division is our battle cruisers. So Garibaldi, Lepanto, and Pisani are back. Was a current characters, uh, I guess no. Um, okay, so let's see. We can only launch one set of torpedo bombers ready to strike. We have plenty of time to do the airstrike. So the enemy is attempting a raid on some of these stations, missing CVLs. We have Varis. We are missing Marco Polo because she got mined, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, so hopefully these air bases will actually start launching stuff here soon. Wait, what? Hold on. What is that report? I think there's something to the south of us. Don't you agree? Turn around. Right now. What is that? What is that force you guys have? Well, we found them. <laughs> Alright, so... That is a light cruiser of the Leander class. We have two light cruisers here. These are scouts. These are scouts. Main fleet is probably about here. We need our battle cruisers to get down here quickly. Press, what are you doing? Hey, look. Uh, strike's ready. Launch it here now. I really hope Vares doesn't decide to go into port for some stupid reason. Okay, we cannot target the... There we go. Now we're targeting the ships we need to shoot. We have... We're already reporting a 15-inch hit from Marigo Vespucci. Good job. Good job. You are a worthwhile warship to have. So, Battle Cruiser Division up here. Um, which would engage our Battle Cruiser Division. I bet these are British. Could be French. I don't know. But I'm going to try to group up both of my groups on one unit at once. Yep, these are British. But this is a fair fight. It is a fair fight in terms of numbers. So they got a Collingwood. Collingwood is fast. 13-inch uh, belt, 8 6, 16-inch guns. So she is pretty well armed. But uh, both Vespucci and uh, Algieri are better armed than her. Probably, unless those are 16 inch quality one guns, which would make the fight a little fair, more fair. Renown is a little older, only 25 knots capable, does not have great belt armor. Uh, Agamemnon, you know, I would say I was complaining about uh, Roma, but Agamemnon, I mean, she's better armed. I don't think there's another positive to her. And I'm betting that those are 14-inch quality uh, negative one guns. So Dante Alighieri has taken a belt extended hit. It has not done much. If we can land some of those 17-inch shell hits, though, that would be amazing. Ah, damn it. Come on. Right now, we're kind of trying to close the range a little bit. There you go, 15-inch hit on her. Damn it. That's bad. Good news is we are right next to port, so if we have an issue, we can go into port. Yeah, you guys need to run down here quickly and just rejoin. Is our aircraft strike underway? Do we have... I'm hoping that some of the aircraft from Syracuse take off here soon, too. Um, yeah, no, we're taking some hits. Pull away a bit. You know, we're taking a lot more hits than we're dishing out. But there we go. We dished out a 15-inch hit. Uh, in terms of the shape of our ships, uh, we're taking a lot of structural damage, but otherwise it doesn't look like they're really getting through our belt. We do have some pretty good armor on these ships, other than Roma, whose armor isn't great. Uh, the Collingwood, for example, does also have good armor, though. Well, good belt armor. Damn it. We have more guns than they do, other than the Agamemnon. And they are just scoring more hits than us. Oh, that's why. They have an additional battlecruiser in the region. 
All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull around this way. And then turn turn around to the other broadside. Oh, look at this bait. This is some good bait. That was a good turn. Because it has put them... That turn has made us um, cross their T. Now, however, they are stopping. Damn it! That was exactly not the hit I needed. Rudder jam center. So we got to continue in the same direction we're going. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Force a flotilla attack at this point. They're in a bad position, though, for torpedoes. We are in a good position for torpedoes. Force them to run into a mine, maybe? <laughs> I would hope. Um, we have scored a 15-inch hit on Collingwood and a 6-inch hit on her, too. We Unfortunately, we are taking damage. I need her rudder to repair. Yeah, no, we are taking a lot of damage here. There we go. There we go. Airstrike coming in. Awesome. Oh, my God. God, these things are wrecking us. We've already destroyed a turret. This thing has good armor. The British are so bullshit. The British are so bullshit in this. Oh my god! Ah! They just jammed her rudder. And she's on heavy flooding. Uh, no. Come on, airstrike. Please do something. We have... Both of our super battleships have jammed rudders and just seem completely incapable of doing anything. Okay, we scored a hit on the Agamemnon. Uh, actually, you are in an excellent position to try to torpedo that Collingwood. And at this point, that is what we need. We need you... We need every ship here, every ship possible, to just attempt to get a torpedo hit on that Collingwood. That is your goal. Your goal right now is to torpedo these leading battleships. Nice! Nicely done, torpedo bombers! Nicely done, nicely done. Battlecruiser Division is coming down here, and hopefully they can relieve our forces, and we can try to get them out of there and start getting some of the flooding patched up. They are getting really close to Rome. Wow, they've already destroyed two of the... Vespucci's turrets. <laughs> Collingwood slowed. She's gotta be. We got torpedoes from uh, our destroyer here. Dante, pull back. Pull way back. At this point. Honestly, I'm going to take manual control of you guys, too. You guys come over here. The battle cruisers have shown up, finally. Um, how fast can you move? 17 Nazi. You need to start moving north. You guys are going to go back to AI control. You guys are going to go back to AI control. You are going to go back to AI control. You missed. Damn it. So the Collingwood is very crippled at this point. You guys are going to go back to AI control. Dante has mostly controlled her damage. However, she's still not in a great situation. Marigo Vespucci, she has gotten her flooding under control. You go back to AI control at this point. Okay, okay. Battle cruisers are involved now. We still need to just kind of concentrate our firepower. Palestro limits flooding. Nice! That, that's a torpedo. Or that's a hit from one of our destroyers on Collingwood. She's down. Collingwood is dead. Of all the ships here, that's definitely the biggest. And we have three fresh battle cruisers uh, joining the engagement. In fact, we'll ca casually cruising through the minefield without hitting it. That happens a lot. That happens a lot in this. All right, you guys can only go 10 knots. And I want you to go 10 knots. We need another airstrike. 
Yeah, we do. That was good. The Agamemnon, I think, is dead. Agamemnon confirmed dead. You, uh, sw yeah, switch your fire to the indefatigable. You guy, you, you need to fire at that Renown. So we got the Renown up ahead, and then the indefatigable. Right now, this is a six on two. Unfortunately, there are additional battle cruisers up here, which is not a good situation. We don't have our aircraft have not returned to the carrier yet. Um, so there is a very reasonable chance that I'm going to have to immediately call off this battle, though, due to damage to Dante Alighieri. But I'm hoping that we can score some hits on these other two warships here first. You target the indefatigable, please. They're focusing way too much on the Collingwood right now. Uh, flotilla attack cancelled for the moment. Uh, the Boyne class looks damaged. The, Et the Etwick is damaged. And now maybe get hit. That would be nice. We're I'm mostly hunting her down with the uh, battle... <laughs> okay. Uh... No, we don't need to hit the Renown in the engine room. We just needed to do that. <laughs> Finally! Oh, this feels so good. A British battleship has actually exploded due to me shooting at it, which was in good health. Finally, Hidden Flaws has worked. I don't know how many campaigns this has taken, but Hidden Flaws has worked. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing! <laughs> oh, thank goodness! Who scored the hit? Who scored the hit? Was that you, Garibaldi? Have you redeemed yourself? No, that was Lepanto! Lepanto has done an excellent job this campaign! Uh, Lepanto's my best battle cruiser. Not Garibaldi. Did Garibaldi do anything? No, Garibaldi didn't do anything. Um, hey, Indefatigable, how do you like the fire of six ships now that your uh, all of your allies have suddenly vanished? Uh, <laughs> oh my god, Roma is down to a single... Or Amerigo's down to two gun turrets, and Roma is down to a single gun turret. Holy fuck. <laughs> Oh, that is so good! Hey, torpedo bombers! How about you try to hit the indefatigable over here? That would be nice. If I really need to, I can divert... <laughs> oh, nuclear! You were right! You were right! Oh, it's amazing! Oh, Hidden Flaws has finally worked off! It has finally paid off! Oh my god! <laughs> this is what it should feel like to fight the British for once! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! You, We were losing the battle down here so badly against all of their battleships. You know, these warships, they were shooting up... Dante and uh, Amerigo and Roma so badly and then we just deleted all of them at once all right which battle cruiser did that that is Vetter Pisani so once again Garibaldi proves to be the worst of the three battle cruisers <clears throat> yeah um I don't know what it is with Garibaldi, but, uh, she's, I mean, she's done okay recently, but, yeah, she's been relatively bad. So, yeah, yeah, that happened. Um, name gives you a good reputation. Yeah, that is two British battleships blown up and two torpedoed until they sank. Uh, we're just going to try to regroup our main battle formation, and for the moment, I'm going to hang out in this area. Airstrike down south? No, airstrike up north. We got battle cruisers in this area. That's where the airstrike should go. I'm just really hoping that their aircraft carriers aren't out. 
Um, so I'm actually going to leave the battle cruisers out here. You guys will go back to AI control, but you will form up on uh, probably Dante Alighieri. As you know, you will form up on Roma as a... How about a scout? Went the British BCs up there. Yeah. So I'm going to turn... For now, I'm going to turn towards Syracuse with them. And I'm just going to order you guys to hold fire. Um, I'm going to order you to hold fire. And you to hold fire. And the idea here is that we just kind of hang out here and rescue survivors. Actually, you know what? Don't hold fire. Open fire up, but uh, do it maybe on the Leanders. Like on the end of a Rudy Tootie point and shooty. That's the luckiest battle. Well, I mean, Britain does have the tendency to explode. It's just, I have not been getting that British tendency to explode this whole time, for whatever reason. So yeah, go down there, rescue survivors, chase off the couple of destroyers, or actually sink the couple of crippled destroyers over here. Now you guys just kind of need to head in the direction of port. So I'm doing this largely to rescue survivors. Actually, honestly, can you hit that, uh, those destroyers here? Is the Boyne dead? The Boyne is dead. Actually, you know what, that Atwick will just escape. So yeah, you know what, hold fire. Wonder if our planes are back on the carrier. Uh, they were already being launched for another airstrike. Uh, so Dante, you go down to 10 knots. So the current decision is, do we move uh, these guys into port? And I think the decision is yes. I think Dante, Alighieri, Roma, and Amerigo Vespucci are just too damaged to keep fighting at this point. So I'm going to move them back into port. However, I will not accept yes for all. I will try to transfer my head to uh, probably the Regina Elena division and then use them in conjunction with the battle cruisers. Right now, our battle cruisers will hang out in this area and make sure that the Collingwood and Agamemnon go down, as well as that point. And it's basically ensuring that we rescue the survivors. Uh, yes, I will change the target. So, battle cruisers are up here. We needed some luck and it happened. Yep. Unfortunately, uh, Dante... Or unfortunately, all three of our battleships kind of got crippled for it. But, um, you know, that's fine. So, I want to be careful with my movements, because I want to move Dante Alighieri back into Syracuse. Yep, she moves back into Syracuse given her heavy damage, and I will order this division to enter port, too. Oh, Amerigo Vespucci is on fire. Oh, it's extinguished now. Okay, cool. So, Collingwood and Agamemnon are still up. Collingwood is down. Boyne is down. Once that Agamemnon goes down, it's uh, over. So I will say yes to Italy Battle Division entering port. And that doesn't mean that the rest of my force does. So which ship do I have control over here? I'm going to guess it's you guys, correct? Probably. You know, look, all the time we can win the war. Yep. Alright, so... Right, so form. Okay, you guys form on Regina Elena as a support group. <clears throat> you guys form on. Actually, you know what? No, hold on. Okay, so a lot of our divisions are now a lot less sorted. So our seaplane division, you guys should be formed on Regina Elena as a support. Our carrier. Uh, where's our carrier? 
There's a carrier. Vares, you should be formed on Regina Elena as a support. We have pulled all three battleships back into port. Make sure to drink water. I'm probably actually going to end the live stream after this battle, to be honest, because I've hit the two-hour mark, and, uh, you know, I want to end it on a high note. <laughs> and this is a very, very high note, but, you know, battle's not over yet. Battle is far from over yet. The Italian saver on a DD passing by the calling would try to pick up survivor and Italian midship and tell him to suck on a lemon. Or an Indian midshipman telling him to suck on a lemon. <laughs> Alright, so you guys. Support force for Regina Elena. You yeah, support on Regina Elena. You are support on Syracuse. You are under AI control. You under AI control. Yes, you are. You guys support for Regina Elena. You are a screen for Encona. You are a support for Genoa. I just want to make sure everything here is sorted. That everything here actually has a role. AI control. Are these guys all under AI control? Yeah, so one of you I'm going to convert to a screen. And that will be you. Alright, so I do not want to be sending more ships into port. And now I'm going to regroup the division around my CAs. But, for now, I'm going to order them to hold fire. Genoa limits flooding. So Genoa had a little bit of damage from something. Looks like a couple uh, six-inch hits. All we've done is literally just move the battleships into port. Um. Okay, uh, that killed it. Let's make up that war in a way for losing the DD battle. Oh! Definitely. Alright, so now we can rescue survivors down here and should be automatically doing that. And we need to swing up north. We need to hit their, the enemy battlecruiser division. We're going to go 20 knots with both of our groups. Since that is... Great, vic or great victory down here. They're not going to be able to do much. We're rescuing survivors from Collingwood, Agamemnon, and... Okay, we picked up... Uh, let me let me read the logs. So we have rescued 37 survivors from Collingwood. We're picking up survivors from Agamemnon. Uh, we were picking up survivors earlier from other ships. So I kind of want to see what those were and where or where we got those uh, pickups at. Okay, so this is where Indefatigable explodes. So we were already looking too far back. Okay, there we go. There we go. Survivors from Renown. Um, how many survivors did we rescue? 55 from Renown. Do detonated ships even produce survivor? Uh, yeah, they do. Um, in this game. Somehow Renown at 55. <laughs> now... So that was, uh... Guess up La Farina. And now, oh yeah, we have another one going for the Indefatigable. So, which one's uh, La Farina? Okay, so she's rescuing survivors from Agamemnon. Oh, and now we have a destroyer rescuing from the Battlecruiser New Zealand. We, okay, 46 from New Zealand, not bad, and 43 from Boyne, it's possible that is fantastic, uh, we are reporting 213 from Agamemnon, however, uh, what the game does is it counts the survivor total on a single ship as cumulative. Uh, therefore, even though we are reporting 213, we need to subtract the 55. 
And it might also be points, or only uh, points for survivors rather than um, actual numbers of survivors. Because for some battleships, it seems kind of low, but for the detonated ships, it seems really high. All right, time to go up north and see what we have to fight here. We definitely got a good victory down south. And our battle cruisers are still pretty fresh. I don't know what's going on there, but we have a damaged destroyer. All right. Squad Max. Turn to port. You guys go to Squad Max. You need to overtake. Good news is, though, our torpedo bomber strike is right on top of them. If they can not be blind. Are you blind? All right. Pull the CAs away. I need to get eyes on whatever these battle cruisers are. Suit ledge, six 16 inch guns. That is definitely concerning given how good the British 16 inch guns have been. That is Neob with nine 16 inch. Oh god. Um. That's an Iowa. It looks like they only have two. Can we torpedo them? If our torpedo bombers can find the target, that's kind of the issue right now. We could launch a single torpedo bomber at them, but our torpedo bomber strike is over here. Okay, so they are firing at our CAs. At this point, our battle cruisers are now within range. So what I should do is I should maneuver the CAs and use them to draw out the fire. And you guys are holding fire because I'm stupid. Shoot. Wait, they don't have a lot of destroyers there. If we can slow them down and catch them, even if we take heavy damage to our warships, you know, that could be a very good good scenario. No, you guys come up. Yes, there we go. We found them. Come on. Torpedo bombers. Attack. They only have two escorts. That's not a lot. That's definitely something we could punch through given the... Uh, that we still have our full support force out right now. Yep, we are scoring 13-inch hits on the Neob. What are these guys? That's the Torpedo Bomber Strike returning. Um, so we didn't score any torpedo hits, unfortunately. Uh, we have a single torpedo left. Go. It would be amazing if that single torpedo bomber scores it. It would be amazing if that single torpedo bomber scores a detonation. Uh, we're scoring 13 inch hits on them. Um, looks like we took a hit to Lepanto. Engine room hit. Belt. Non-penetrating hit. These are 16 inch shells though, so we should be worried. Well, as soon as they return to the carriers, we can do that. We are scoring multiple 13 inch hits on the Neob. Uh, looks like one of her turrets is disabled. Good. It does look like we're scoring more hits than they're scoring in return. But we do really need to get something critical here. Salerno limits flooding, so Salerno had flooding. Uh, the Regina Elenas are now shooting at Neob. Or Regina Elena is. And that is a 2 in or 10 inch shell hit on Neob. So Neob is possibly a bit slowed down. Unfortunately, we are taking shell hits here, so I'm going to pull off a little bit and go a little bit more broadside like this, because I'm a little scared of them, to be honest. Uh, we have three torpedo bombers back? Oh, God. That's not good. They must have uh, actually really screwed up our... Yep, yeah, screw it. Launch them. You know what? It's going to be dusk soon. So... I should make them think I'm retreating. Here's my thought. We make them think I'm retreating. Yes, I will change your target. You go here. And if they want to retreat, then that's fine. However, if they are going to follow us into this retreat, I'm going to do a flotilla attack. Vares, what are you doing? 
Turn the fuck around this way. You guys need to get around Vares. Make sure that she doesn't get anything. Cancel the flotilla attack right now. We need to rearm those planes quick. I think a lot of them just got shot down. Or they went on recon flights for some stupid reason. Yeah, now they're pulling away. Okay, so here's the thought, is we make them think that we're retreating, we bait them in, and then see if we can torpedo them. Yes, I would like to change your target. Aim more over here. And if it doesn't work, then who cares? We've just got away. I don't think that's that winnable of an engagement, even though we were shooting them. Um, it's just, it's too risky. Especially given that um, our forces were not concentrated at the time. Oh yeah, our torpedo bomber is approaching something. It doesn't do anything. Alright, go to cruise speed. Go to cruise speed. All of you on cruise speed, we're going back to port. Welcome back to Syracuse. You know what? If it's going to be night soon... And we're still in decent condition. I'm fine with taking a point-blank range battle, given how many destroyers I have and how few destroyers the enemy has, if I can sit in this region. What are you guys doing? None independent. Uh, form up on Regina, Elena as a support group, then. Okay, they have found them. You should... Yeah, you should be on Regina and Lena as a support. You can go back up that way. Oh, she was just launching tor a bunch of torpedo bombers as recon units. At this hour? What? Are you crazy? Alright, so... Just in... This is like a just-in-case-they-come-back sort of thing. Of... Sitting out here with the warships. Seeing if we can find them or not. Or seeing if they stumble across us or not, but I bet they're retreating. But you know, if we can stumble across them and get a night battle going, um, given the... Well, you know what? I bet you the battleship force is retreating. The battlecruiser force might be retreating, but I'm not entirely sure they are. But you know what? No. Let's let's take the safe victory. Go to Syracuse. Yes to all. Everyone go to Syracuse. Yes to all. Safe victory it is. We have one more destroyer which has to return. Just go to Syracuse at max speed. GG, GG, GG. Boos. I, I think that they're retreating anyway. I don't think they're coming back around. I can check the short streams are boring. I'm a little tired, right? I, I'm My sleep schedule's odd, so um, I'm a bit tired right now, and I want to end it on a high note. Um, it's not that short. It's still two-hour episodes, and, you know, I'm uploading the streams unedited to YouTube, so I kind of want the two-hour episodes because, you know, that's kind of how long I want them to be. I don't want to be hitting those five-hour marks and forcing people to watch that. Yeah, I will end the scenario. Yep, they were retreating. I was right. Can we check ship details? Yes, we will. We will very much check ship details. I always check ship details. All right, ship details. Here we go. I'm going to scroll through this first just to see what's at the bottom. So... Battleship Renown. She has 16-inch quality zero guns. Well, she had 16-inch quality zero guns. So, 12-inch hit from Roma. Uh, takes multiple more 12-inch hits from Roma. Next next salvo is... Uh, or next hits are some 13-inch from uh, Lepanto. Then one from Vetter Pisani. And then one from uh, Lepanto, which detonates her. It struck her Y turret. So that would be this turret right here. Collingwood. Collingwood 
Masuji was scoring a lot of hits on Amerigo Vespucci. We're scoring 15 inch hits in return. We did perforate her uptakes, but uh, she was doing well. She. Oh yeah, here's where it, here's where it happens. Torpedoes, three hits from uh, torpedo bombers from Veres. Um, hall hit on here. Hall belt hit belt. High speed increases flooding. Damage has been detached due to heavy damage. And th this is why I was saying that I would end the stream, because I'm going through all the ship details first, and then I'm doing the next turn as well. Or at least part of the next turn. Um, and then, yeah, she took the hit from uh, Palestro, and that put her down. 17 inch, uh, as well as an additional 17 inch hit from uh, Dante. And then she's sinking, then takes another hit from, uh, I guess it, Missouri. How many survivors did we rescue? 339. So Agamemnon. So she took a, tur a 12 inch hit at first. Disable the turret, or disable the turret. Then, torpedo from... <laughs> torpedo bomber from Veres, torpedo bomber from Veres. So, okay, okay, I sent a flight out of nine torpedo bombers, and they scored five hits. That is excellent. And then, so, she's sinking here from the torpedoes, and then takes a dud hit a few minutes later. There's a few extra hits, and, you know, that extra torpedo there. Um, finishes her off. Although, I don't know if it caused... It didn't seem like it caused an explosion to just finish her off. New Zealand exploded on the first heavy hit she took, which is, was a 13-inch shell from Better Pisani. So, yeah, once again, of the of our uh, three battle cruisers, it's Lepanto and Better Pisani, which are really pulling their weight. Uh, Dante Alighieri got into port with heavy damage. This was due to uh, multiple severe 16-inch hits. I want it... Or 16-inch hits. I actually want to check something. Uh, it's not New Zealand. Uh, Agamemnon, those were 14 inch negative one. Collingwood had 16 inch zeros as well, so I'm pretty certain that Britain is stuck on the 16 inch zero. Um, which is kind of surprising how well they're doing, but I'm assuming that, yeah, they have better directors than we do. And, you know, probably their training's pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, Dante Alighieri. So what sort of damage did you take? So you were taking 16-inch hull belt penetrations at the start. Um, so yeah, that belt isn't holding up against uh, British 16-inch shells. Honestly, armor might be kind of irrelevant against Br British 16-inch shells in a lot of games. Ah, uh, you know what? No, no. Non- or that- that's a- that's a bounce right there. That's a non-penetration. So that one's good. Turret Y hit. Belt extended hit. Belt edge hit. So turret disabled. Yeah, this- yeah, these disabled- yeah, it looks like multiple hits there just kept disabling turrets. The missile creek will hit rudder damage. Yeah, two hull belt penetrations. So she's flooding at that point from Renown. So at this point, it's Renown. Okay, so Dante was being shot up by Renown. Interesting. I, d I was not expecting that. Um, so there's her flooding down, and then she's taking more hits. Takes a hit from Collingwood, one from New Zealand, another, one, another two from Collingwood. And yeah. We eventually get her into port. Amerigo Vespucci also suffered heavy damage. Although she was not as badly flooded, she was... Or, although she was not really in danger of sinking, she was very slow. And, um... Yeah, had two of her after it's destroyed. Which is not good. So it's not going to be good not having these ships for a couple of months. But it is going to be good for the British not having those ships for the rest of the war. Um... Superstructure passer hit on Amerigo Vespucci. Or Vespucci. Um... Vespucci. Vespucci. I don't know. I don't know if it's Vespucci or... Maybe Vespucci. More like that. Um, I'm probably really pissing off Viking. Superstructure hit. Belt extended. Superstructure hit. Uh, so the, She was largely getting superstructure hits at the start. Four after tall hit from a six-inch shell, which would go through because there's not much armor there. Uh, so that started a fire. Then, it, then yeah, that 16-inch hit jammed her rudder forward. Um, Forrester on a route. It was o an okay route, and then, yeah, four tall hit, so... Here's where Calling Hood is tearing into her. 16-inch engine room belt hit, secondary battery hit, hull damage for splinters. Turret Y hit, turret destroyed, turret A hit, disabled. Engine room hit, belt penetration from Renown, so... Where was... Hold on, where was turret X destroyed? Yeah, there we go. 1219. Turret X gets destroyed from Collingwood. Renown destroys turret Y five minutes later. Okay. And so her fire got up to two and then got extinguished. And we just brought her back into port. 
Uh, Battlecruiser Niobe did take nine 13 inch hits. She does have 16 inch guns, a quality zero. Um, so yeah, we were scoring. So that was largely Vetter Pisani scoring hits on her, it looks like. Um, Regina Lena got a 10 inch uh, high explosive hit. But looks like, uh, I mean, we were getting some belt extended hits. But it looks like we weren't really doing too much with them. Which, yeah, is understandable. Uh, so she can only go 28 knots. Uh, Roma took medium damage. Two of her turrets were destroyed. Not too surprising. She is pretty old, but those, that is still 13 and a half inch turret armor. So it's not bad. I'll pass through. Engine room hit. Creeklet fire control damaged. Okay, 16 inch conning tower hit. Turret destroyed. Turret destroyed. So two successive 16 inch hits. One from now and one from Collingwood destroyed the turrets. Uh, Garibaldi. She took 16 inch. Or she took some uh, 16 inch shell hits from uh, the battle cruise, or yeah, battleship Renown and the battle cruise Amphorite, but kind of shrugged them off. The Panto took a few 16 inch hits from Neob. It does. Yeah, one destroyed her bridge. She'll wear some coal bunker. Um, it does look like they were actually kind of struggling to get her through her belt a little bit. Urn we sank. So this was a Boyne class. Uh, it was, you know, definitely the one which uh, we know sunk. So the other destroyer there did escape. So Champion took some hits. Now we're kind of in the light damage area. I kind of want to see Amphrite. So she did take a couple of hits from Lepanto and one from uh, Garibaldi. Palestro was one of our destroyers. And she took multiple 4-inch and 6-inch hits. We lost the Merchants. <coughs> Or we lost two merchants from the battle cruiser sinking them, so I assume they achieved their objective. Um, apparently, it's not giving the enemy um, objective achievements right now. That's a bug. That is a definite bug. Rother took multiple hits. Safarino took a four inch hit. Genoa took some six inch hits. Uh, this Corvette took some hits and survived. We lost a patrol boat. Fine. You know, that's not a. Significant loss. So Tori took multiple hits. And we skipped uh, this guy. Uh, Missouri. So which uh, which just her as rescued survivors? There we go. Oh, that was one of their ships. Um, I'm wondering which one this one rescued survivors from. It might have been one of the battleships, maybe? Because everything we sunk, we rescued survivors from. So this one did rescue survivors from something. Uh, and then down here, we get our destroyers, which rescued survivors. So you rescued some. You rescued some. You rescued a lot. I know you rescued some from two ships. And then you also rescued some. And yeah, there we go. I want to see the hit percentages, too. Wow, Renown had 11.93 hit percentage. Holy fuck, Britain. That's why we're getting slaughtered. Well, not why we're getting slaughtered. That's why we were getting slaughtered until they just suddenly killed over and died. Um, yeah, their hit percentages are ridiculous. Collingwood had a 9% hit percentage as well. Well, you guys, they were all on improved directors, but damn, these things are just shooting the other living crap out of us. They were just landing hit after hit after hit. I mean, Dante was only a 1.29. Mirko Vespucci actually did well. 5.22. New Zealand. Or, that was one of their ships, New Zealand. Uh, Garibaldi had a 1.13 hit percentage. Good job, Garibaldi, for being that low again. Um, despite not even taking a director hit. Uh, yeah, their battle cruisers were way out shooting us. 3.9, 3.09, 3.85, so about 3 and 4. Um, I want to see... Lepanto, which had a three, <laughs> and our other battle cruiser, who's probably down here somewhere, because I don't think she was damaged. Uh, Vetter Pisani, who had a 3.85. So yeah, um, uh, once again, Vetter Pisani and Lepanto shooting uh, as well as the British battle cruisers, and Garibaldi, not. Um, I mean, I'm wondering if triple turrets are doing something for us, but you know, these things have triple turrets too. <laughs> I uh, I don't know why Garibaldi is so terrible at shooting, but she is. And anything else interesting down here? 
Um, Regina and Lena scored some hits. All these others are like zero. Okay. That is cool. Yeah, good battle. Very, very good battle. Did they have any CVLs out? No, they didn't. That was my... I probably would have left my battleships out there had I known that there weren't CVLs out. Cruiser drinking and partying with not enough sleep, probably. Yep. If I'd known that, I probably would have sent all my ships against the battle cruisers. However, I didn't know that, and I was worried that an enemy airstrike could come in, and given the poor state of uh, Dante, the vulnerability of Roma, and, uh, you know, uh, Vespucci only having uh, two gun turrets left, it was kind of a, yeah, I should probably retire them all to port. Oh, especially with Roma only, have one, or only having one gun turret left. Uh, the only ship which could shoot had a heavy flooding at that point and was in danger of sinking. Um, but yeah, no, I might have been able to knock out a battle cruiser or two if I had done that. But, you know, I would have been at very risk of taking out Dante. Alighieri, which wouldn't have been good. So, I actually want to see the ship lines, big ships. So yeah, I was right, their battle cruisers were pulling away, and the British, uh, ships were going into Valletta. Uh... If I check the force flagship, yep. So it looks like, um, yeah, it looks like Britain got the rest of their battleship division force just into the letter. They're like, nope, we don't want to fight this anymore. So the battle cruisers fought a bit here. I was trying to pull them in, but instead, they were like, nope, let's run away. So I was, I was right to not continue hunting for them. Uh, the last thing I wanted to see was the logbook, real quickly, and I'm just gonna scroll up because I want to see survivors. Rescued. So these are all, you know, the torpedo bombing and scouting stuff. <clears throat> oh my god, I sent so many up commands. There we go. So this is where we're shooting at them. Oh, oh, I know where they, the British rescued survivors. Some, they saved survivors from the transports and that patrol boat they sunk. That's where that survivor count came from. And that's what that ship was doing. Okay, that makes sense now. Um, so that's where the British got their survivors from. And then, okay, so here is Agamemnon. So we're rescuing survivors here from Agamemnon. And I know we saw this earlier, but I just kind of want to get the count. So you were at 46 from New Zealand. You got 43 from Urn. You got 213 there. However, that 213 is a cumulative total because he rescued from two ships. Uh, 37 from Collingwood. Well, wow, Collingwood did not have a lot of survivors despite actually sinking properly. Yeah, Memnon had a lot. And two which exploded had more. Uh, but... If I scroll up, you know, we're shooting the Collingwood. I'm trying to remember where we were rescuing survivors up here. So yeah, it would have been after this explosion. I am blind, apparently. Because I am not seeing it. I just want to get a ta to or total, and I think it was 55. Uh, yeah, 55 from now, from Renown. You know, I can scroll up here. Yeah, that's good. That is excellent. Leave scenario. RMC is in... Come on, crush him completely. Yes. Oh, we lose a destroyer and a corvette. And that was an Antonio Mosto as well. Good news is we got the AMC done. Uh, yeah. That was awesome. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to resume construction on all these guys. I'm going to be able to bring our research budget back up to like 4%. I mean, we can now plot to invade stuff, but I don't think that's a good idea right now until more British ships are sunk. Let's go high spying on Britain and maybe medium spying on France. 
And yeah, um, Regina Paris, open design for rebuild. Go to dual purpose guns, get us a flight deck. Uh, we'll change her to a CVL. Fire control, not the best type available. I apparently cannot set the as the best type available, so screw you. We'll go up to that air capacity for the moment. Although it will probably need to be changed in the future. So now Regina Paris is being built as a new CVL. So we are going to actually have a uh, proper CVL here. And we are now currently actually making money. I can probably... Part of me wants to resume Marsala. No, I'm going to leave her halted. Um, but I might build two more Antonio uh, casinos. Anyway... With all of that done, um, and actually I think it is probably a good idea to build more uh, Corvettes, so Adelina. It will be done in four turns so that we actually do have trade, or don't take huge losses, trade Richard. Uh Yeah, with all of that done, uh, thank you everyone for watching. It is, uh, it's been a real pl pleasure to stream this. Things are actually finally starting to go well in this war after that. Uh, major loss of British ships. And, yeah, you know, Agamemnon, Collingwood, New Zealand, and, uh, what was the fourth one? Renown, all sunk. That is going to make so strong, and Collingwood was fairly new. In terms of newest ships, um, scary still. Very scary. Uh, yeah. But, you know, looks like they're going to have a sudden battleship gap now from 1917 to 1928. But their battle cruisers, they still have a lot of, which is annoying. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you everyone for watching. This has been my uh, live stream, Nonium 17 Spore. Uh, if you are on Twitch, you can find links to my Discord, YouTube, and Twitter down below. You think you can still win this war, though? It's possible at this point. That, that battle gave me a lot of hope. Um... Yep, uh, Discord is where I post notifications for the live streams. YouTube is where I upload these live streams when I'm done with them. Twitter exists. I don't do much there. Uh, if you are watching this on YouTube and have uploaded the live stream, the Discord and Twitter links will be there, but the uh, YouTube link will instead be replaced with a Twitch link, which is where I live stream all these originally and where you can go and watch them as they happen. So yeah, uh, thank you everyone for watching, and yeah, this is me signing off. Bye! I like doing that. Long buys are fun.